Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. He's walking around like an idiot with a laptop in the airport. <laughs> and his knee breaks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to friends now. Personal camera holder. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Hey. Flight leaves at 4 o'clock. I have to board at 3.10. And what? I have to fly on a plane for 8 hours and then stop. And then 14 hours. I also have to drink my water before I go through security. Would you care for some water? No. It's from yesterday. No. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, are you kidding me? You're gonna have to take this home. I can't drink this That's much okay. liquid. Yes. <laughs> I have some seriously bad luck with security. I, Fiji, I got body searched. Then today I got substance searched. I had to open up all my bags and he had to search all my stuff. So stressful. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to lock my bag. So annoying. Okay, I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down and rearrange my bag. Anyways, I got through. I'm going to France, by the way. I think you would have guessed, but I got through security. Um, I cried. Okay, I'm gonna get a frozen Sprite, and then I'm going to find my gate and I'll just sit there and wait. I think that seems like the best option. Anyways, I'll see you guys when I sort my life out. Bye. I just ordered myself a frozen Sprite and a medium sized chips and now I'm waiting. But they didn't give me a receipt, the machine didn't give me a receipt, so I just have to remember that I'm 26. You gotta remember. <laughs> I'm boarding, my hair looks like a mess. I'm boarding. But I was hoping it would revive me a bit. 
It's also not cold. That's probably why as well. It matches the see what is going on here. No, it doesn't on camera, but anyways. I want my gay now and I'm just gonna wait. Sydney train that no one was talking. <laughs> so, um, but basically, I got a massive nosebleed on the flight. I've never had a nosebleed in my life. And I was just sitting there. Actually, no, it was a very traumatic flight. Okay, so I'm exhausted, right? We don't take off for so long. We were sitting there for like half an hour delayed. And then finally, we take off and at this point, it's 1am, about 3am Australian time, right? 1am Singapore time. Um, and I'm like, I need to sleep. I haven't slept at all. At all. And so, I'm like, <laughs> I like fall asleep as soon as we like take off. As soon as I see a belt sign goes off, I fall asleep. Despite the fact that I was trying to stay awake for that first meal because I was starving. Um, and so, I fell asleep. And... I was sitting next to this Asian couple, um, and I wake up, I'm so confused, this lady is tapping me, she's like, do you want food? And I'm so confused, I'm curled up in a ball on the seat, my feet are on the window, I'm like, I had no idea where I was, I was so confused, I was like, what? And the flight attendant's like waiting for me to make my choice, and she's like, which one would you like? I'm like, what? And like I had my noise cancelling headphones on, I was listening to music, I was so confused. And she was like, pasta? Or whatever the other one was. I was like, um, pasta? I don't really know. I like freaked out. I chose the pasta. The pasta was disgusting. I hated the sauce. I just had to eat the pasta that didn't have the sauce on it. But then I wasn't really hungry because it was like 2am at this point. So I didn't eat much anyway. And then, um, as soon as, as soon as they took away my tray, I was gone. I slept for seven hours. I wake up again and I'm like, oh my god, I slept like four hours left at this flight. And so I'm like sitting on my phone, I'm like doing everything I can um, to like entertain myself. And because it was dark, I didn't really want to get my book out and read. And also I was kind of too tired to read. Um, so I was sitting on my phone playing like the games that didn't require Wi-Fi or anything so I was like playing Helix Jump, Flappy Girl, <laughs> Subway Surfers, Temple Run and then all of a sudden I'm like what the heck my nose is running so much and I like wipe my nose there is blood all over my hand and I'm like a couple next to me are fast asleep I'm like searching around for this napkin that I kept from dinner and then I finally find it and I literally, like, it was all over, it was so gross. I'm holding I'm like, I need to get this flight attendant's attention. Like, I'm like waving and this guy goes, yes. Like, I'm very obviously, like, I'm struggling. And he goes, yeah, I'm like, my nose is bleeding. And then what, like, because I'm holding it, so I guess it was muffled. But he was like, what? I'm like, can't you tell? My nose is bleeding. I was like, and he was like, oh. I'll be back. And then the couple next to me makes up. They did more help than the flight attendant. Um, he like disappeared for 10 minutes and then came back with a wad of napkins. By that time, my nose had stopped bleeding and the Asian couple, they'd given me napkins and wipes. So they were more helpful than him. But I literally looked like a vampire or something. I had blood all over my face and all over my hands. It looked like I'd been sucking some of the blood. It was really disgusting. And so I went and washed up and then I was too scared to go back to sleep in case I woke up and my nose was bleeding again. So on I popped to the Helix Trump. Um, 
and then I got bored of that and so I watched a whole season of Modern Family because that was what was on the plane TV. I watched a whole season of Modern Family and half a season of Friends and then finally we landed. I landed at about 7 and then by the time I got out through everything it was about 7.30 and I sat down and this guy who was picking us up was like, you could sit over there. So I was sitting with these girls and we're waiting and they're like, apparently we have to wait until 10 a.m. because there's like a whole bunch of other people. There was about, I don't know, they said there was 30 but I don't think there was 30 of us. Um, so we were sitting there until 10 a.m. Um, and then finally we got in the car and may I just say, French people zoom out. I was terrified. We're in this van and this guy's dragging all over the road. It was terrifying. And then we got to the train station and I had to wait three hours for my train. But I made some friends. I made some friends from Sydney, but then they, they left very shortly after we got there. I got myself a chai latte. It was so good from Starbucks and a croissant and cinnamon, cinnamon scroll. And it was so yummy. That was like the first thing I did probably eaten and it was freezing. It actually wasn't as cold as I thought it was going to be but it was still cold. Um, yeah, so we made some friends. I made some friends from Sydney. They were 15. They, they left very soon afterwards and I made a friend from Italy. She was very nice. Um, and then I made a friend from Germany and he was on the tr same train as me. But everyone else was so much younger. The girl from Italy, she was the only one that was 17. They were like 15. I was like, I don't know how you can do this at 15. But yeah, we're waiting for a train and then finally get on the train and like it's dead silent. But then I didn't want to like fall asleep because I needed to sleep last night. It's the next morning now, but I needed to sleep. So I was like, I cannot sleep on this train. My phone is almost dead. I don't have a European power adapter thing in my backpack. It was in my suitcase, so I couldn't charge my phone. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like so exhausted that I can't read my book. I was like reading, I was like reading the page like three times. I'm like, I'm not even processing this. So I'm just sitting there like staring out the window for four hours. I was so dead and at one point I had to get up. I went for a walk. I got myself some water from the train cafeteria thing. And then I got picked up by Emmeline and her mom, Carol. And they're very nice. And we had dinner and I went to bed at nine o'clock. I slept until 7 though, which was really good because I was worried I was going to wake up at like 6 or something, but I slept until 7. So yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to vlog for the next few days. I just need to like get used to life here, so I'll see you guys when I vlog next. Um, but yeah, toodles, bye!